Well, there she is. How about that? A Ninja 650. Ain't she a beaut? Oh, definitely. Well, there you go. <clears throat> a lot of things original about the Ninja 650. The angle of the suspension. They, they kind of set it off to the side. Easy to get to for adjustment, for preload. Um, this one happens to be a uh, 2008 model. And it's done been tagged. <laughs> oh, it's not my bike, though. It's a stepson's bike. Or what I call my son. Let's see. 2,400 miles on this thing. And boy, did we... I say we, he got a good deal on it. So, it's already got the frame sliders on it. And, uh, uh, let me give you a little review on this sucker. What do you think? All right. Let me tell you a little bit of something about the uh, Ninja 650. Its competition would be the uh, little Yamaha 600. Another great bike. And uh, I believe the CBR 500. And, oh, the SV650. All great bikes. All great little, not going to say little. Some of them are fairly large. This, is, this one, I'd put on the large side. The SV on the large side. The Honda, a little smaller. And the Yamaha, uh, on the medium side. But I'm going to tell you, for as as far as commuting, getting around town, I'm going to crack the visor. There we go. As far as, as far as commuting and getting around town, you can't beat these bikes, especially at their price point. I know gas prices have gone down and whatnot, but are they going to stay down? Highly unlikely. Well, a little mischief there. Highly unlikely. So why not get yourself a good two-wheeler? If you're just going to go back and forth to work, get a good two-wheeler. And let me tell you something. This little ninja is way up there. And I'm sure if you dress this thing out right, got yourself some side bags, got yourself whatever you need, this would be an excellent, excellent cross-country little side road tour. I need to adjust that linkage a little bit. But I mean, when you're looking at around 40 miles to the gallon easily. Plenty of power. Look at that. We touched 80 really quick. This bike almost can't be beat. I say almost because... You guys are going to come up with other bikes in this category that'll be like, that'll probably blow it away or whatever. But for the price, you're coming in at under seven grand for this thing. The aftermarket parts are phenomenal for this thing. That, you know, if you drop it, wreck it, scrape it, whatever, replace parts, go naked, whatever. They're out there because this production line's been up there for several, several years. It's kind of like buying a GSXR. I went there. Yes, I did. It's kind of like buying a GSXR. The parts are there. So I don't, I don't know how or why you would pass this up. Now I'm not going to tell you the price we gave for this. It needs to be tweaked a little bit because it'll vary in your area. But this bike has almost no miles on it. It's barely broken in. And let me tell you something. Weighing in at under 400 pounds, this thing is really, really nimble. So if you're considering this for your first bike ever, yeah, you should. Honestly, because you won't get bored of it. I haven't. And it's freaking butt-ass cold out here. Let's see. Go, go, baby. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. Not bad. I mean, your friends may go, Dave, you ought to get yourself a one-thighs. You ought to get a later bike, you know. 
because you know them little 650s and them little 600s they can't keep up let me tell you something back there in that twisty crap that's all you need on side roads country roads like this I'm not even touching red line and we're pushing 90. That was about fourth gear. Yes, fourth. Wow. 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 That was a second gear pull. There's a third gear pull. Third gear, I touched, that was third gear pull, 90 miles an hour. Wow, really? I could see, I could see why people would want this bike. Round town, country roads, hell, I don't know what this thing will, I don't know, at touring speeds, uh, you're looking at, you know, a constant 80-ish miles an hour. Uh, the vibes aren't that bad, really. I mean, I feel about the same in my Z1000 through the bars. And this thing's great, you know, it's super freaking light. It's nimble. Is that the word? Definitely the word. Definitely the word nimble. And she turns in like nobody's business. Holy cow. The brake's a little vague, but not bad. Oh, hope he lets me keep this thing long enough to do a little long term on it. And it's, let me tell you something, the power is not intimidating. It doesn't come on, it doesn't have that high revving screech or squeal that you're used to. It's really confidence inspiring. Holy cow. And I'm riding on cold, let me tell you something, it is around 30 degrees. And this thing is just hugging it. Now, I will say, you know, it's on the budget side, so the suspension is not the best. You know, you've got, re, uh, you've got com you, uh, preload adjustment on the rear and nothing on the front, which is uh, typical of a, of a budget-oriented bike, but the front end feels, this is, this is the true test. Hit the front brakes. It's got pretty good dive to it, but that's something that can be corrected with new springs in the front and uh, uh, maybe a heavier weight oil. And it's pretty simple. You can almost do it in your, you know, your garage out back or whatever. But all things considered, you know, for the price. A great bike. You know, and your insurance is going to be far less than, say, a Super Sport 600, 1000, what have you, big 1400 something or other. But, uh, yeah, where can you go wrong? You know, 40 to 50 miles to the gallon, lightweight, relatively inexpensive. And um, let's see here. Let's see, I'm six foot tall and I'm like basically all leg, but flat footing and I can stand off the seat and I feel like I've got another two inches below my ass. So flat footing this thing for somebody around six, five feet, something shouldn't be too bad. So a beginner bike? Sure. Intermediate bike. Heck yeah. Um, you know, skilled rider. Yes. Skilled rider would have loads of fun with this thing. 
loads. And like I said, you just even have parts for them. Where can you go wrong? Oh, let's get back up here, give you a quick shot. Here you go. Look at that. Headlight from basically the Z1000. You know, fairly aggressive. This is not the newer version. The newer version's actually got the lights that come off from the side, but relatively the same bike. You know, and styling that obviously won't go away. Oh, now if you feel like you've got to change the exhaust, change the exhaust. But I'd honestly say, leave it alone. Save your pennies. Save your dollars. It's a good, good, good set of uh, little, little uh, frame sliders there. You know? Maybe invest in some uh, new tires when you need them. Some lube for your chain and whatnot. And just ride. Just ride the thing. You can't go wrong with this. <laughs> it's, 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 it's exciting. Oh, on that note. Oh, me and the little 650 are going to go home and make mad, passionate. Sarge out.